There were <laughs> other little hospitals or little care places dotted all around the city from about 1860. There's yes. always been that philanthropic oh, right. support in many of the cities and towns. Oh, yeah, but yeah. what tended to happen is the, the great and good got together and said things like, we need to make it better for our, our workers, we need to make it better for our people and our citizens of Wakefield. And so Clayton Hospital was effectively born. So what was this bit? Well, by the, this was the entrance Just the main uh, hallway. One of those sort of desks just to the well, left there. Um, and you sort of went off. I mean, went very originally. I mean, what you had was some wards that were the bits that extended out there. And it was set up here as a private hospital because, of course, this was before the NHS was created in 1948. And with, so without Edith Mackey and her philanthropic fundraising and the whole bringing her, the community together, um, this hospital wouldn't be here. So the, the, those unfortunate people in Wakefield who couldn't afford medical care would not have got that medical care without people like Edith Mackey and particularly the children which is why the children's ward is, was named after her. She ensured that children that needed medical care and attention got that. Of course it's before the NHS. In what was the children's ward and Edith Mackey was very much involved in the uh, development of Clayton Hospital in that she um, raised funds and they did some, a lot of her own money to yeah, make sure that the hospital was kept yeah, up to um, sort of up to date with modern um, techniques. Yeah. Indeed she set up a nursing school of excellence here and it was known as a school of excellence and women from all over the UK were sent here to train and it was actually a forerunner to our NHS. So but with regards to the children's ward, um, she was particularly interested in caring and nurturing uh, the, the children of Wakefield. As you can see, it is completely wow. smashed up. Anything that was on the walls and windows, there were a lot of fittings and things on the walls. When was it last used, um, Lawrence, as, a, as part of the hospital? I was about to say, it was still in use in 2013, and they were just pulling out then. Yeah, I would, I would have said 2014, so... Yeah, it's so it's only in a few years that yeah. it's changed. The original plans, these were some little consulting rooms, and in fact some of them were like, um, uh, you know, it's like yeah. doctors for the bones and a personal room as well. It set up a nursing school. And that was really important to her because she was um, involved with the care of soldiers from the First World War. Because Wakefield <laughs> had a lot of um, First World War soldiers that, they came, that came back and were cared for here. So in between the First World War and the Second World War, she set up um, a training school that became known as the Centre of Excellence um, and trained nurses in a bit more than the, the rudiments of you know, bandaging and, and operation and care. In the West Yorkshire archives, there is a list of all of the um, artifacts that were left here in this ward, and there was a plaque to Edith Mackey, uh, which is now gone.